And then I put Striker in here and they were <laughs> kind of being pretty abusive to my little guy. So I pulled him out because he was crying and hiding and they were actually hitting him. So whereas now they're just sort of, you know, doing their more normal goat thing. Oh, now they're hitting a little harder. Look at all of these bad chickens. They are getting out of our electric fence. I've watched them. They can fly over it. They crawl under it. They kind of scrunch up their wings and they just go straight through the openings of this electric fence. And it is on. Maybe we let them out to free range a little too soon. I'm actually not too worried about them getting into trouble out here during the day. And at night, they do go back into their mobile coop and I can shut them in and keep them safe. So that's all working pretty well and as it should. My only concern is that these chickens might go over to the neighbor's yard and uh, it doesn't bother me to have chickens pooping out here in our woods and eating bugs and that kind of thing, but the neighbors might not like chickens over on their side. So I haven't quite decided yet if we should just keep that door shut and keep them locked into their mobile coop until they're too big to fit through the fence we can always clip their wings so they can't fly over. But when they're bigger, they won't be able to go straight through the fence anymore. It's kind of nice for them to be out here eating bugs, and that's food I don't have to buy. I don't know, maybe I'll talk to the neighbors and see if they uh, mind some free-ranging chickens that might venture over their way a little bit. We'll see. Over here, we have the neighbor's cat. I'm not worried about that cat getting any of our chickens. I don't think it could if it tried. The last video I posted called, Do We Have Too Many Goats? was really a nice walk down memory lane. I really enjoyed going through old clips to find little gems to include in it. I came across some old footage that I don't believe I ever included in a video before. And I thought it'd be a fun, nostalgic look back to include it in this video.
Wendy was very eager to have baby goats, but our first attempts to breed the little bucks to our does did not proceed flawlessly. Although the bucks were old enough to breed, they were still young enough to not quite be ready yet. Oh, and for fans of our turkey, like my mom, you'll get to see the turkey again. My goats, my girl goats, other than Valkyrie, who's over here with the boys right now, are acting a little frisky. So one, I wanna know if Indigo is in heat. She's our Nubian, and so she'll go into heat probably in the autumn. So I'm thinking, well, maybe it's end of August. Maybe she's in heat. I don't really know what her heat cycle looks like at this point. So, but she's dancing around and prancing and things like that. But sometimes she does that just because the other goat is doing it. So it's hard to tell. But it also could be that Rogue didn't get bred like we thought she did. So I know little lightning bug is very interested in the ladies, any ladies. And so we're gonna go get him and just bring him over to the girl pen and see how it goes. If they kind of start chasing him and making him feel like he's gonna hide in terror, then we'll take him out and bring him back. But uh, otherwise we, we may just leave him in there for a little while and see how that goes. Let's go get him. Big turkey poop right in front of the door. Good job, turkey. Are you hiding? <laughs> Are you hiding behind mama? You silly. I see some girlfriends. He's the center of attention. Striker in here, and then I put Striker in here, and they were <laughs> kind of being pretty abusive to my little guy. So I pulled him out because he was crying and hiding, and they were actually hitting him. So whereas now they're just sort of, you know, doing their more normal goat thing. Oh, now they're hitting a little harder. To go, she might run into you too.
No, there's no vocalizations. It's normal for there to be some aggressive behavior when goats are mating. In fact, it's normal to have aggressive behavior when goats do just about anything. The buck really shouldn't be running away from the does. I think Rogue was a little more interested than Big Indigo was, but really Lightning probably just wasn't quite ready to breed those goats yet. Come here, Lightning. Come here, Lightning. It's okay. Don't let the other goats get him while you're holding him. Are you kissing him? Huh? Okay. Hey, hey. It's okay, baby. This mama's baby. Be nice. Yeah, be nice. Are you okay, Rogi? No. Be nice. You're okay. You're okay. Stop running around. Turkey has to be in the middle of everything, too. They're interested in challenging each other. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back, baby. Come on. Safe and sound. The director says, you smell like girls. <laughs> <laughs> like girls too. <laughs> Look at his lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we like this girl better? <laughs>
Striker, you're such a silly. Well, the sun is going down, and as you can see, our chickens are for the most part getting back in the coop already. I talked to the neighbor, and he's he's fine with just waiting and seeing how it goes. If it becomes a problem, he'd let us know. Wendy is a little worried about the chickens getting into her garden and messing things up. We haven't actually seen them in the garden beds yet, but these chickens are getting braver. At first they were just wandering around right outside the fence, just in this little forest kind of circle driveway area. But then they started going out onto the driveway. Now they're starting to go out into the lawn. So they're getting braver. They're pretty well protected from hawks if they stick to right under these big trees. But when they get out into the open like that, then they're much more vulnerable. Plus, if they ever go all the way down the driveway, they could go out onto that somewhat busy road where people drive a little too fast. We certainly wouldn't want our chickens to get hit by cars. I'm thinking at this point we should just keep them locked up, keep them confined to that coop. Sorry, little chickens. You're gonna have to stay inside for a while.